Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got Mr. Negative and Gambit Arena. Round one is over, and we're gonna take a look at the leaderboard, see if we recognize any names. I did not go for the five or the six star uh, Negative Man or the six star or five star Gambit. Uh, but I did go for the one to 5%, so you'll see what score I put up to get that. And, uh, oh, let me show you guys. I didn't do an unboxing or anything, but this right here. It's a stand for the uh, iPad, and it is very adjustable. I mean, I can adjust this so far that this will fall right out. Okay, so I love it. And I'm going to put this right here in front of me. That way I'm not having to even hold it up or anything like that. All right. Let's uh, go to the completed arenas. And as you can see, I did get the 5%. So that's uh, 10,000 five-star shards and 2,000 six-star shards. I am loving the uh, extra six-star shards that I've been getting for putting up uh, the score I put up. All right, so let's start with the uh, Summoner Trials leaderboard. This one, as you can see, I just put up enough for the uh, milestones. So let's see. And some of the names I can, I can recognize because I see them on the leaderboards uh, often. But usually uh, for someone to get this, you know, get their name on this leaderboard, uh, it's because they... You know, we're probably going for the uh, Nexus uh, or they're just grinding. Uh, I don't know any other reason to go really high in this particular arena, uh, but I'm good. Just want the uh, milestones. Uh, that gives me all the units that I can get. And uh, I've already claimed uh, all of mine. So that's why my units have uh, gone up uh, a little bit. Claimed all of the units that I got from the uh, last arena. I believe I got all of them. As soon as I, I hit all the milestones, I went ahead and just cleared it out. Uh, so uh, I'm looking forward to when they change it because I am grinding more uh, than I was. And uh, I know that for some people, they're not even able to do it. They just don't have the time. They were able to get you know, some good number of units, you know, without spending crazy amounts of time in the arena. Uh, they have work, family, just no time to do that. And I'm hoping that Kabam will do that soon. They, they've they already said they will. So we, we know it's coming. We don't know what is coming. They just know that there is an issue. They've been discussing it. And uh, we'll have to wait to see their solution. And they did tell us we would have to deal with these arenas for a little bit longer. Um, but how much longer, I don't know. Uh, but I'm hoping that it's not too much longer. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, doing less than I am right now because I have other things that I need to do. Uh, today, uh, I was still grinding this morning uh, to get, because I didn't go just the milestones. I was going for the uh, one to 5%. Uh, but today, what I was doing, and let's let's go into the uh, Gambit arena first. You can see 25.2 million got me the uh, 1 to 5%. All right. Uh, ben Riley, wow, right off the bat. Number four, congratulations, man. Woo, you wanted that Gambit. Uh, I'm curious to see what you put up. All right. Uh, Gambit does have some good prestige. These 100 that you see here uh, got the six star gambit. Uh, 101 and below got the five star up until, uh, what is it, uh, 400? I always forget. It's still kind of new. Uh, but anyway, so uh, today I was playing around with DaVinci Resolve, which is a video editor. And. Um, I had a, a, a fun time just watching different videos, tutorials uh, to get myself familiar with how it was set up, what things did. 
Uh, I am by no means anywhere near professional level um, editing, but it's nice to know that for one, they offer it for free and professionals actually use the free version. So I don't know if it's gonna replace my Filmora. Uh, I know that at least one person uh, that I watched said that they're using both. Now they use uh, Adobe uh, Premiere and they've been using that one for years. Now they basically added DaVinci um, to their toolkit. And uh, I will have to, you know, start editing something in it. Uh, I don't know when. Black Knight, congratulations, man. Snuck in there. Tell me what score you put up. Because you are close to the cutoff. And uh, what is that? Helping? Kelping? I'm not sure. But my condolences. SGA 101, man. That is rough. So everyone from him uh, down on this leaderboard got the five star. Um, but yeah, I may I may not um, edit this video with it. I may. Um, I really need to to just sit down and, and start using it. Uh, a Rob, haven't seen you in a while, man. Uh, I don't know if that's congratulations because it's the five star. I don't know where you're at in your roster progression. Um, but shout out to A Rob for making the leaderboards at least. All right. Um, but yeah, so right now, one of the reasons that I was switching or looking for something else, even though Filmora has been working just fine, uh, is because of their subscription model for their uh, various effects. And you see those effects, you know, I have the animated emojis. Uh, sometimes I'll add some fog and things like that. Well, all of those kinds of things uh, for Filmora come from this company called Filmstock. And the way they do it, they give you a few free stuff. But for all of the really good ones, you have to pay. Now, I wouldn't mind buying it if they just offered, you know, like I, I would look through and I'm like, oh, I like that pack. You know, it has some explosions and fire and things like that that I want. And if they were to say, OK, you know, this is thirty dollars, twenty dollars, whatever, then I would buy it and then we'd be good. But that's not how they do it. You can't buy it individually like that. All right. You can see I put up pretty much the same score in this arena for the one to five percent and got it as well. Um, but yeah, they don't do it that way. You have to have a subscription and then you can download them, right? But here's the catch. When your subscription is not active, you cannot use them. So if you think, oh, I'm gonna buy a subscription and then I'm gonna download everything that I wanna use and then just cancel my subscription, no, they're wise to that. So as soon as that subscription is not active, you can't use those. When you reactivate it, then you can use them again. I don't really like that. So what I did was I went out looking for some free effects and uh, Rim in the Rock, congratulations, man. Uh, and I saw some and one of them said they had over 600 free effects. And uh, when I looked, it said uh, that, that it was compatible with DaVinci Resolve. And I said, you know, I remember hearing someone mention DaVinci Resolve. I think it was uh, Brian Grant. Uh, Black Gamer, congratulations, 52. Woo. Um, same thing, by the way, in this arena as the other arena. The first 100 get the six star, and then the next up to 200 get the uh, five star. And uh, I believe it's up to 500 um, that will get the uh, five star. Uh, so anyway, uh, I was like, okay, I want to look into this and it's free and it has very good reviews and all of that. So I went and grabbed it and I started watching videos and trying to learn it. Um, and it definitely can replace Filmora. I'll tell you that Filmora is good for the beginner. And if you're not doing anything, you know, beyond what you see me do, you know, you know, cut, paste, 
clip together some stuff, maybe slap on some effects uh, that they have, things like that, you're good. Um, but if you want to do some of the more fancy things, um, you can do it. But yeah. Woo, KT1, you snuck in there. I am curious as to what score you put up. 98? I I'll have to check that out. All right, so that is all of the folks that got the uh, six star, Mr. Negative. He's not really that good, but I can understand why people want to grab him. Uh, I'm a collector. So who do we got down here? Uh, Angel or a a Angelo. And I almost want to say Cortez, uh, even though there's no O and uh, E in there. Uh, Transliterate or whatever. Uh, but. My condolences, man. That is rough. All right. Um, so, yeah, all of these got the five star. It's still a new champion. So they still get a new champion unless they opened up crystals and got them already. You know, um, but they may not be so happy because they may have wanted the uh, six star. Contest some noobs. Uh, I, I, I still don't know what to say. Congratulations or condolences. The integral. Shout out to you guys, man, for putting in that work. Uh, Infinity MJ, putting in that work. Congratulations on getting on the leaderboard. Maybe that's what I'll, I'll do from now on. All right, just congrats, getting on the leaderboard. J4 is awesome. Uh, congratulations, making the leaderboard. Uh, condolences if you were going for the uh, six star. Amino89, congratulations, man. For making the leaderboard. I think you probably have a roster that you were probably going for the six star. Brandon. Same thing, man. I know you were probably going for the uh, six star here. Um, but you got the five star at least. Uh, I don't know what you put up. So let me know. Let me know what you put up. All right. Uh, but anyway, uh, Duke Gecko, congratulations. Uh, the end of that story is that, you know, after I watched a lot of videos and things like that, you know, I was ready to, you know, start editing a, a video. You know, this one is the next video that I will have made. Um, and I started to collect, uh, you know, set things up, you know, set my workspace up uh, to manage my workflow. So I made a, a little smart folder where I could put in you know, my intro and outro, because I'm going to be using those across projects. Um, some, uh, you know, images like the numbers that you saw when I used to do the um, uh, dupe counter. And then I got to my animated GIFs, you know, the animated emojis and things like that. Carlton dance and all of that. And I went to import it and it wasn't working. And I went to look up why Da Vinci resolve does not support gifts it doesn't support them and what i have to do in order to use those animated gifts is to convert them to either an mp4 or an image sequence and if i have transparent ones it's an image sequence and i've done it and it does work you know and you only have to do it one time but you know all of that and then i went to uh, download some of the effects. And I started looking at the fine print. So that 600, it wasn't all 600 for the same thing. It was over 600, but then you started breaking down and the pack that I was reading was only 200 and it was made up of a lot of other things. And yes, it was compatible with DaVinci Resolve, but it included transitions and, you know, lighting correction templates and things like that. A lot of stuff that uh, I probably would not use. And what I actually needed and wanted were different elements, you know, animated emojis, um, you know, just different elements, you know, the fog, you know, lightning effects and it, stuff like that is what I was looking for. And so far I haven't found a lot of them for free. Uh, so, it's on hold a little bit uh, until I can find some other things, uh, even places, because I, I did see some where I can buy it one time, you know, so I might find a pack that I like, buy it, and it's mine, 
and then I can use it in DaVinci. All right, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, not ready just yet uh, to do that, um, but we'll see. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what score you put up if you got the champion. You know, if you were uh, 201 to 500, let me know what score you put up uh, for that five star. I will be going for him uh, next round. So uh, all of the cutoff information will be very useful. So take care and you all have a blessed day.